What's up guys, it's Aaron and Vera and in today's video we are in a really special place I think this is my favourite place in all of Vietnam We are in Ninh Binh Our journey to Ninh Binh started in Hanoi where we hopped onto a train from the city centre a train ride that took around two hours. Once we arrived in Ninh Binh, we jumped into a taxi towards our farm stay and were greeted by some incredible views. This was just a taste of some of the beauty we would see here. As soon as we arrived at our new home, we headed straight back out to explore this mysterious place. So our home for the next few days is this place called Ninh Binh Retreat. It's a farm stay slash hotel and as you can see it's one of the most beautiful places that we've ever stayed. So here is the main bedroom. We have a little desk and a very comfortable bed. And the best thing about this room is this amazing balcony view. It's so peaceful out here. Yeah. Absolutely amazing views. The only loud noise coming from those chickens over there. <laughs> It's pretty hot outside, but we have aircon in the room, so it stays nice and cool in here. So it's very comfortable. Okay, so a little bit of storage space over here, and the toilet, the bathroom, is this way. Mm -hmm. So, a uh, nice hot shower. Have an amazing view of the room, if you wish, or you can just close the curtain. After a quick rest, we rented some bikes from the farm stay and headed off to Trang An. Renting bikes is a must here for getting around Ninh Binh, though you can also ride bicycles, so bear in mind things here are pretty far apart. Either way, you'll get to experience the incredible views here at your own pace. So right now we are doing a tour of Trang An, which will take about two hours and a half. It's extremely hot, but it's just so peaceful and the atmosphere is so nice that it makes up for it. The tour guides you through Trang An's network of temples, caves and eventually Skull Island. Be sure to get there as early as you can to beat the rush of tourists coming down from Hanoi. We are now on the second location of the tour, which is another temple, and we just went through the most amazing set of caves. It was just so incredible being in these caves completely alone, there was nobody there. We had all these fish and bats all the way around you, and you just had to duck the entire time, trying not to get your head, head hit with the rock stones. Thank you. 
now off the boats. Um, this place is incredible. I can't think of words to describe how amazing this place is. Uh, it's so beautiful. There aren't too many tourists as well, which just makes it so much more magical. And so far, this is, this is my favorite place in Vietnam. So we're gonna go back to the hotel now and relax for a little while, and we'll see you in a bit. Okay. So after a quick rest at our hotel, we grabbed some lunch a few kilometers away in Tam Cock. If you're looking for a great little place to eat with simple and delicious food, we definitely recommend trying this place out. After lunch, we jumped back on our bikes and headed straight to Hang Moa. Hang Moa is a scenic mountainside spot that offers spectacular views of the surrounding area. You do have to make a short trek up 500 steps to reach the temple atop the mountain, which can be quite exhausting in the heat, so take your time and be sure to bring lots of drinks. from Hang Moa were some of the most impressive and majestic we've ever seen. The shots we got really don't do this place justice. You just have to come here and see for yourself. All right guys, so we're back at our homestay now. We've had a great, amazing day. We definitely recommend going to see Trang An and doing the boat tour there. It's absolutely amazing going through the grottoes and exploring all the temples. Hang Moa, which was the long, steep climb, uh, the views there absolutely stunning one of the best views i've ever seen in my life and just ninvin itself this place is just incredible you know when you see um like travel videos or pictures of postcards and it makes the place look so beautiful and then you go there and it's beautiful but it's just sort of ruined a bit by just the amount of tourists there are tourism has, hasn't like reached this place yet everything is very much like it used to be it's, yeah, it's not so mainstream yet. It looks as magical as it does in pictures. So I really hope it stays this way. But I also recommend that you absolutely come here as well. Um, but anyway, we are getting really tired now. <laughs> uh, we're going to head back to our room and chill out. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any of our future videos. And we'll see you guys later in part two of the Nimbit trip. Okay. Thank you.